Welcome to UE and welcome to Dynamics Modelling Simulation. My name is Dr Ben Drew and I'm the module leader for this module. So in this lecture I'll welcome you to the module, talk about the structure and delivery of the module and the staff that are involved in teaching this module. I'll introduce the schedule of the lectures and, and uh, teaching sessions for teaching block one, talk a little bit about the assessment um, profile for this module talk about the mathematics resources that are available and the diagnostic tests that we'd like you to undertake and a little bit of notes about the course notes and how they're going to look for the different aspects of this module. So Dynamics and Modelling Simulation is a module that integrates three sort of fundamental strands of engineering science. Underpinning it all is dynamics, which is supported by engineering maths and the modelling and simulation um, for which we're going to be using a piece of software called MATLAB. Um, and the way this module, sort of the philosophy of this module is that we um, teach maths and the, and the programming side of things, modelling simulation, with dynamics as the vehicle in a sense. So we're teaching it in context. So the maths that you're going to be uh, learning about is actually going to be used in dynamics um, in this module. So we're, you know, we're focusing on the topics that are directly relevant to those, to the dynamics uh, aspects of the module. And the same with the modelling and simulation. We'll be using MATLAB to solve dynamics problems, essentially. Okay. The module handbook is available on Blackboard, and that in that uh, there's a section on the detailed learning outcomes of this module. So if you want more information about that, then take a look at that module handbook. We'll have a look at Blackboard in a minute. In terms of the structure, um, each one of you has three and a half hours of contact per week. OK, and that's broken into three different sessions. Um, because of COVID-19, there's no large group lectures, so that, um, that's what's being replaced by pre-recorded lectures, of which this is one of them. OK, um, in addition to that, there's a one hour online live uh, lectorial. So those are identified on your timetable as a lectorial, which is a mixture of lecture and tutorial. OK, and those are going to be live, but they will they will be online using Blackboard Collaborate and then Following that, there'll be a one and a half hour face-to-face -face tutorial. Those are in smaller groups and they're going to actually be timetabled in a space on campus um, um, with a, uh, an academic or tutor um, in, this, in the room uh, to facilitate those sessions. The module is a year-long module, lasts the whole academic year. Um, and every week um, there'll be a, a pre-recorded lecture released. Okay, and there'll be a week before the lectorial that accompanies that lecture. Okay, So the idea is that you watch the pre-recorded lectures, you might um, read through some of the notes, have a go at some of the problems, and then turn up to the lectorial having watched or read the content associated with that lectorial. And then following the lectorials, there'll be the small group tutorials where uh, we will set problems uh, to do in the, in the class, um, which you can do um, individually or with a, with a colleague. Um, you know, depending on social distancing restrictions and requirements. Now, this delivery approach is perhaps a little unusual. You might have been expecting to turn up to large group lectures and then perhaps have either large group or small group tutorials to work through the content yourself. And the large group lecture would focus on um, delivery of the content and the small group lectures and time outside would be when you, when you focus on the sort of you know, trying to work through the problems and mastering the content yourselves. But this, this approach where we've turned it around has actually got a name. It's called flip delivery. Okay? And the idea is that the, before the lectorial, that sort of teaching, that live teaching session that's online, um, you actually conduct some pre-study yourself. You actually, you know, like I said, watch the videos, read the notes, um, and do this material, you know, cover this pre-study material in your own time. Okay? Then... That contact time, that live um, lectorial, is actually can be focused instead on, on delivering content, can be focused on actually what's known as active learning, learning by doing, where you actually you know, start to master the content during that facilitated time. After the lectorial, that's when you um, go to the tutorials and you can practice at a slightly higher level than you would have done otherwise. And obviously during that time you also pre-study um, uh, for you know, content for the next lectorial session the following week. 
Now, this this process, this flip delivery idea, has actually been um, you know implemented in a number of modules in the past um, in engineering, um, and the you know the results of that, that that sort of evaluation of that methodology and that this approach has shown that uh, um, the the correlation between you know, your success with this module and the learning that you you uh, achieve is highly correlated with how much you engage with this process. Okay, if you uh, if you um turn up to the lectorial having not looked at the pre-study content um, you'll get slightly lost because we're not focusing that session on on delivery we're, we're relying on you having having watched the pre-recorded lectures yourself beforehand and you know the other parts of evaluation have shown that this approach really works well in terms of levels of attainment um, you know the students uh, you, you know um, actively preferred it when we've asked them the questions and also, um, uh, when it comes to revision, you'll feel that you're already pretty confident in the topics because you've covered it already. It's not going to be like cramming before an exam. Um, hopefully, by this little sort of you know step by step approach, you're building up your knowledge cumulatively, and uh, and you'll find you'll be you know, more confident when it comes to actually doing the assessments when when they're due. So, if you to draw this as a schematic. We've got sort of two rows here. We've got in-class sessions, face-to-face -face sessions, and and live online sessions, and then out of class. And so you can see before the lectorial, we've got this sort of pre-study using the course notes and the videos. During the lectorial sessions, we've got this active learning environment where we actually practice applying key concepts with feedback. We're going to be um, uh, using uh, doing some examples, and then. Uh, after the lectorial session, you've got the small group tutorials, which are in class. They're going to be face to face, going through some problems, some set problems, and also outside of class, you're going to be doing the independent study and the pre-study for uh, the next session. In terms of the staff involved in the module, well, there's like I said, my name is Dr. Benjamin Drew. I'm the module leader for this module, and I'm also going to be teaching the MATLAB content, uh, the lectures and the lectorials and some of the lectorials. We have Dr. Adrian van Niekerk, who's uh, who's going to be um, responsible for the dynamics content, okay. And then we've got a couple of academics that are going to be dealing with the maths. We've got Dr. Jan van Lent, uh, um, who's going to be uh, responsible for some of the mathematics, and we've also got Dr. Matt O'Donnell, who's also going to be uh, focusing on some of the mathematical aspects. And they're the main sort of academics involved in delivering the content, uh, doing the pre-recorded lectures and delivering the lectorials, okay. Now, in the tutorials, um, you'll be supported by uh, most of us, um, uh, uh, but we've got some additional staff involved in the tutorials as well. We've got Dr. Mariam Atufi um, and Dr. Lloyd Bridge and, Dr. and uh, Stephen Haynes, who's also going to be um, uh, doing the tutorials and also some of the mathematical support, which I'll talk about in a, in a minute. So those are the members of staff, and you'll meet them across the week as we as we move through the through the through the um, module. So in terms of the schedule for teaching block one, that's um, this is what we're focusing on. So this week currently is week 13. Um, formal teaching will actually start next week, on week 14, which is uh, the UE weeks, the way, they're, the way they've been divided up. So the 19th of, uh, of October, that's the week commencing date. Okay, and that's gonna be session number one, and that's the introduction to this module, which is obviously this pre-recorded lecture and then using MATLAB as a calculator, which we'll cover um, in, a, in another video. And that's given by me, OK? And then obviously MATLAB, you can see, is the focus of the first five weeks. The idea is that we want this intensive training of MATLAB, which we can then use throughout the rest of this module to solve the maths and dynamics problems that we're going to be presented with. And we want you to be you know, up to speed with MATLAB um, as a, you know, because it's a fundamental part of this module. Um, you'll be using it, hopefully, every week. And um, parts of the assessment will rely on you actually solving some of the problems um, that are that are difficult to do by hand, but are very straightforward using some of the functions in MATLAB and some of the functions of MATLAB. Okay, you can see that week nineteen on the twenty third of November will be the first week when we actually move away from MATLAB. So that's going to focus the focus on uh, some fundamental functions of maths. Okay, and that's pr presented by Jan. And the then you've got the project week, which um which I think you you should be uh, you should be aware of by now, um, um with the focus is um in, in engineering practice one, 
uh, they're the people that are going to be leading that week. And then week 21, you've got a bit of dynamics. And then week 22, which is the week before the, the winter break, you've got some more maths and so on and so forth. And then a couple of weeks at the end, after the winter break, you've got some more teaching. And then after the week 27, there'll be, some, there'll be the first uh, assessment block. So that's, that's what the first teaching block looks like in terms of the teaching. And like I said, you can see that we've got myself, Jan, Adrian and Matta Donald get, delivering content um, for these, these weeks. In terms of the assessment profile for this module, well, there's two components, component A and component B, OK? And the way that is divided up is the exams are part of what's known as component A, OK? There's going to be one exam for each teaching block, one at the end of teaching block one and one at the end of teaching block two. They are both going to be online exams, OK? And they're both going to require the use of MATLAB to solve some problems. Now, in the first teaching block, they'll be straightforward, simple problems, generally focused on some of the mathematical concepts that we've introduced, OK? And the one at the end of teaching block two is what's known as a scenario-based exam. So you'll be aware of some of the activities that you've been doing, and the exam will be focused on something similar to that, OK, where you've got to probably produce a bit of MATLAB code to solve some of the problems. And part of the submission will not only be answers to some of your questions, but also some of the code um, that we can, that we can uh, uh, mark as well. Now, component B... Um, is not exams, okay, that's going to be a set exercise based on the work that you'll be doing during project week two, okay, so in the middle of in the middle of teaching block two, there's another project week, okay, and during that week, you'll be doing some work um, that will involve doing some modelling and simulation of, of a dynamics-based problem, okay, and so the idea behind that is that you'll be doing a demonstration of your programming, okay, there'll be some, a, a presentation that you'll give OK, and that's going to be group based um, group work, OK, where you you'll all be contributing to the program and you'll all be presenting. OK, now this is just a very brief sort of synopsis of what the assessment profile looks like for a little bit more detail. You can take a look at the module handbook and you'll see there. But obviously, clearly, we will communicate you know, um, some explicit details around the assessments um, as, as we move through the module. Now, in terms of the maths, OK, um, clearly the mathematics is a fundamental part of this module, but you're all, you've all got slightly varying uh, skills in terms of mathematics, depending on how you came um, to be um, in this module. OK, now mathematics in this module covers a, a number of different topics, algebra, trigonometry, differentiation and integration. So those last two uh, areas of calculus. OK, and we want to make sure that you've all got a good handle on all the basics, okay? Um, and so we've got this mathematics resource on Blackboard and attached to that mathematics resource is a is a sort of diagnostic test in a sense. It's not marked, so it doesn't contribute to the module mark, but what we want you to do is to have a go at the test. And depending on how you do in the various different, various different areas and how you do in those areas, um, we can identify whether there's anything that you need to sort of, you know, brush up on or if you're you know, fully up to speed on the various different things, OK? And so we'd like you to take the test. Um, certainly, I mean, it might be quite a good thing to do during this week when you haven't got any teaching to at least get the first test done. And if you get everything correct, then there's no further action you need to take. You'll be ready to go when we start teaching um, uh, the maths in week 19. But if you need some additional support, this is available. There's a, there's a, a number of drop-in sessions that will be publicised, OK? And there's online resources as well attached to the attached to the tests, and the tests also give you immediate feedback on what you've done well and what mistakes you might have made. Okay, so there's a lot of support available. Okay, and you need to take advantage of that once you've identified the areas that you might need a little bit of help on in terms of understanding. Okay, and to access this test, you go onto the Blackboard site, and there's a there's a section there on mathematics resource, and uh, and uh, like I said, it'd be great to take this test as soon as possible to identify any areas of support. Like I said, um, you want to co cover all the topics before week 19, really, because that's when we're going to be starting to rely on you having that re requisite knowledge. Now, lastly, in terms of the course notes, there's a few things that are available already, OK? Uh, we've got a dynamics primer, so that's basically sort of revision notes covering content you sort of ought to know already in terms of dynamics, OK? So it's got some basics of... Uh, of uh, 
of um, uh, you know, uh, velocity, acceleration and, and displacement uh, problems. Um, it talks a little bit about some of the basic maths as well. Um, and this is for you to cover in your own time during the first five weeks. OK, so like I said, MATLAB is the focus of the first five weeks. But if you've got some spare time, it might be worth going through the notes. There are some exercises there and there are solutions to the exercises as well available. Um, so it'd be worth having a look there. The dynamics will be taught with a similar set of notes. OK, obviously, they're going to go further than the primer. Um, and they'll be available on Blackboard as an online resource. OK, um, and they'll be released as we go through the dynamics. Um, uh, module okay MATLAB this is available on Blackboard as an ebook that I've written okay um, so you can either download or and print that if you feel as you feel is necessary um, okay and that obviously that steps us through the MATLAB content and then the mathematics like I said there'll be notes also available on Blackboard um, they might be more more of a, a mix of ebook and and worksheets as well and that's what makes up the course notes so thank you very much for listening and uh, and watching this lecture, and uh, well, let's let's dive into the content in a in a few minutes. <laughs>